Yes, we had a very strong uh, start of the year with an, uh, more than 6% uh, comparable sales growth for the total company. Um, you also indicated already that our uh, sales development in the US was very good. Uh, but we're also very happy with uh, the e-commerce, the online uh, grocery sales, so with uh, 10% for the group and 12% even in the US. Um, I think uh, the main thing, uh, what uh, what the teams did very well uh, for us, especially also in the US, which is was a very strong result, is that uh, we got our, back our supply chain uh, in a self-distributed way, and I think that, uh, that helped us a lot uh, with availability of product. Uh, we upped our private label offering, and we also gained share there. And you see also that the inflation came down in April compared to the first quarter. So we see a lower inflation in the U.S., and we also see an, uh, a better co conversation with our with our vendors, uh, so that volumes uh, should grow again uh, in the in the second half of this year. Franz, can we talk about consumer behaviour at this point? We've been looking for some fatigue to set in for the consumer as they dwindle down those uh, savings post-COVID. But, you know, analysts have found about one stock that seems to be impacted at this point, which was uh, Tyson Foods, that there could be some trading down around beef at this point, but not really huge signals that customers are cutting back. Are you seeing any of that in the business, that there's some substitution or any hint that the consumer might be feeling a little bit of pressure? Yeah, we of course um, uh, uh, harder hit in Europe with energy prices uh, than, for example, in the U.S. But we also see in the U.S. that there is uh, more economic tension, as uh, we all can read everywhere, and that means also that customers make uh, smart choices in our stores, and that's uh, that's also one of the reasons why uh, private uh, private label sales is up. Uh, People are very loyal to our brands, uh, which all have number one and two positions on the East Coast in the U.S. But you see that uh, customers make uh, yeah, smart choices based on their budgets. And the good news is that with our private label and our national brand offering for every wallet, there is uh, there is a solution in our store. So be very happy with the loyalty of our customers, the customer programs we run um, and the offerings we have there uh, in the U.S. And I think that's gave us also a strong profitability in the U.S., uh, a strong sales uh, sales development, but also a strong um, development in our e-commerce sales, where we got more than more than two hundred and fifty thousand new customers um, in the first quarter. Friends, let me ask the question that a lot of politicians are beginning to ask, from the states to the United Kingdom to the Netherlands as well: Are the supermarkets profiteering? Are they passing on just a little bit too much inflation from the cost of goods? Yeah, we see that uh, uh, raw material prices are still quite high and very much elevated to uh, to previous years, of course. When you look at our European margins, you see that our European margins are uh, quite under pressure, uh, where compared to last year, uh, we have a 20% lower uh, profitability in Europe. And that's mainly because energy prices, but also our actions in Belgium, but also that uh, the fact is that we have not passed on all our costs uh, to our consumers, where we think that at the moment, communities are quite stressed and a lot of households and families are under pressure. So that's why we took the decision to absorb uh, costs ourselves, but also to run ourselves a 1 billion uh, euro uh, cost saving program to tighten our own belt to find the funding. And I think that's uh, that's what's happening. And again, eh, in Europe, 2.8 percent profitability, 2.8 cents on the euro. Uh, that is a different type of profitability uh, than people uh, uh, realize. All right, that, that, that's unequivocal what you're saying about Europe. What about the United States, though, whether it's a dozen eggs, a two-litre bottle of soda, uh, you name it, bag of potato chips. Uh, the prices are quite extraordinary. And let's face it, U.S. gas prices and, uh, haven't actually gone up anywhere near as much as they have in Europe. Is the accusation more accurate for the U.S. market, sir? Yeah, I think in the U.S. Um, we see inflation coming down. Um, April uh, uh, food at home inflation was roughly 8%. That is considerably lower than in the first quarter. And we also see uh, prices of commodities coming down now. Uh, for example, the eggs, uh, uh, $4 or 4.20 for an, uh, a dozen of uh, big white eggs uh, came down considerably uh, below $3. So I think we see also there prices moderating it has to do also of course with the increased uh, inflation effects effects and how the fed is uh, uh, trying to manage the macroeconomics so um, that's one thing the other thing is and that is uh, for us not a good thing and uh, disappointing for communities is that also the snap budgets were curtailed and that means that for a lot of families uh, their budgets went down with 95 dollars uh, for for a month and uh, uh, that's why uh, private label solutions, price entry solutions come into play to make sure that uh, that families uh, 
um, can feed uh, can feed uh, the household and that people are set up for success. And that's why we see also the private label sales going up in the U.S. as well. Yeah, interesting.